before you start making chips, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your X and Z set for each tool that you are gonna be using. So to check those, if you hit the OFS button, which is your offsets, and if your offset tab is hit, it'll show you all the tools there. As you can see, the first couple have zeros in the X and zeros in the Zs. In the next video, I will show you how to use the Renishaw probe to set your X and Z for different tools. When you want to probe your tools, the first thing you got to do is pull down the Renishaw probe. So if you just grab this tube and pull down, it'll go into place. And automatically your offset screen will pop up on your screen. Once you have your Renishaw probe in position, the next thing you're going to want to do is bring your tool to within a quarter of an inch of one of the four sensors on the probe. In this case, we will do Z first, so we will be touching off the right sensor. You want to get as close as possible to the center point of the sensor for your most accurate reading. Once you have it within a quarter of an inch, all you need to do is push the jog button on the bottom left and pick which direction you want the machine to just jog. In this case, I want it to go Z minus, so if I push Z minus, the machine will automatically move the turret until it touches the sensor. Once it touches one, it backs off a safe amount. Then you can change your directional, so now we will move our X and go positive. And now we will touch off our X. Again, just hit the jog button in the direction you want to go, in this case, X minus. Once you have touched off your X and Z, you can look at your screen and see that it automatically put the length value under your X and Z offsets of whichever tool you have to touch off. When probing center cutting tools like center drills, drills, reamers, end mills, you never want to set the X. The center of the holder should already be 0.0. .0. All you need to do is set your Z value. So just like I showed you previously, get the tip of your tool within a quarter of an inch of the sensor, select jog, and then tap the Z minus button. And it'll throw the Z value under the tool you have activated. 